Hello fellow dreamers. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make a really healthy, delicious applesauce in the crock pot. It is prime apple season, at least here in the Midwest. So we've been getting bushels and bushels of apples and not knowing what to do with them. So making applesauce in the crock pot is seriously mess free, super easy, and it makes the house just smell awesome. All right, let's go see how to do it. So here are my apples. I have around eight of them or so. I'm just gonna wash them off and then cut them into fairly uniform size pieces. They don't need to be fancy because they're all gonna cook down anyway. Just as long as they're about you know uniform size, it should be okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna actually leave the skin on. Most applesauce recipes suggest to peel the apples, but we're not fancy here at Andy Simple Life. I don't mind having the skin on, so I'm just going to leave it. And I'm just going to cut up my apples into, you know, as, as closely uniform size pieces as possible. And then I'm just going to take the juice of a lemon and squeeze that on top. And I'm going to add a half of a cup of water to that. I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and add some cinnamon to this too. So I'm just gonna eyeball about two tablespoons worth of cinnamon, just sprinkle that over the top of the apples. And then I'm gonna take a big spoon and give it a little bit of a stir. Again, this is all gonna cook down together, so I don't really need to be crazy with how much everything is mixed or not mixed. It doesn't really make much of a difference. And then I'm just going to cook it on high for about four and a half hours or so. And you can cook it on low if you decide to do that instead for about eight hours. So after about four and a half hours, all I'm gonna do is take the lid off and take a potato masher and mash it all together. And there we go, there is applesauce. So to preserve this, I'm not gonna can it or anything. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour the applesauce mixture into a shallow container and let it cool. And then I'm just going to scoop it into an ice, um, an ice maker tray, like an ice tray, and uh, let it freeze overnight. And then pop the little pieces of applesauce cubes into a Ziploc. And when I'm ready to eat them, just pop them in the fridge or stick them in the toaster oven and I have some fresh applesauce ready to go. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a Daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today and I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao.